Hey learners, welcome back and today we are going to study about lock and key model versus induced fit model. In this video, we are going to find out the differences and similarities of these two models. We know that enzymes are biocatalyst. Here the bio word means that the enzymes they are working as a catalyst in living organisms. Um, in the biocatalysis or enzyme catalyzed reaction, the key step is the proper binding of substrate to the enzyme. So these two models, they are very important to explain the enzyme substrate binding. So let's find out the differences and similarities of these models. Here this is a lock and key model of enzyme, while here I have uh, the induced fit model of enzyme. The first difference between these two models is that the lock and key model was proposed by Emil Fisher, while the induced fit model was proposed by Koshland. The second difference is that lock and key model was um, proposed in 1894, while induced fit model was proposed in 1958. You can see the difference in the timelines. It means this much time was taken to understand the enzyme catalyzed reaction. The third step is actually the definition of these two models. According to the lock and key model, uh, it uh, explains the perfect binding of specific substrate to specific enzyme. It means that one specific enzyme can catalyze a specific substrate and other than that substrate that enzyme is not going to work on that. Uh, in the case of induced fit model, induced conformational changes in the active site means that substrate will induce the conformational changes in the active site of the enzyme and after that they both are going to bind with each other and that substrate it will be converted into product. The other difference is the shape. According to the lock and key model, no shape change takes place in the enzyme or in the active side of the enzyme, while the conformational changes takes place according to the induced fit model. It means that active side of the enzyme, it changes its shape to fit with substrate. The next difference is that according to the lock and key model enzyme is a rigid structure just like a lock while the enzyme is a flexible structure according to induced fit model it can change its shape and it is very flexible the next difference is the active side shape the active side is the complementary to the substrate according to the lock and key model just like a specific key has a shape to that of the specific lock. Similarly, they both are complementary to each other while in the case of induced fit model no complementary um, association is there. Instead of that, the enzyme active side is going to change its shape to complement or to bind with the substrate. The next difference is substrate. Uh, lock and key model explains single substrate binding. It means that one substrate is going to bind with a single enzyme. It does not explain if more than two substrates are binding with one single enzyme, but the binding with a variety of related substrate, it can be explained by the help of induced fit model. Another difference between both models is the nature of binding. The substrate binds tightly to the active site, while in the case of induced fit model, the flexible binding of the substrate it takes place, and as we have already discussed about this. Another difference is the transition state. The lock and key model does not explain the transition state while the induced fit model it does explain the transition state of the substrate. Here the transition state means the complex which is formed between enzyme and substrate. It does not explain the lock and key model it does not explain while the induced fit model it does explain that transition state. There are some similarities between both models. 
the both models are used to explain the enzyme catalyzed reaction in the both model they are also explaining how a substrate is going to bind to a uh, to an active side of a particular enzyme and they also emphasize on the enzyme substrate complex formation so that was all about the um, differences and similarities between both models if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video